Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Now, our last review of the day comes from, of course, the one and only Leo Laporte. Hello. Hello, Leo. How are you? I'm good. Another Kickstarter project. Yeah. Like Sarah's. So you've been wearing this weird looking thing on your shirt all day. This, <laughs> all day for the last four weeks. For four so weeks. So this, uh, you just didn't notice, which is probably a good thing. This can get you beat up in the Mission District of San Francisco. This is, was, uh -oh. it was a Kickstarter project in the fall of 2012 uh -huh. at the time called Momoto, a Swedish company. By the time they were ready to ship these in late 2013, uh, early 2014, they were renamed to Narrative. This is the Narrative clip, getnarrative.com. Narrative. So $279. I think narrative, what I do you think, think that is when you look at it? Does it, does it talk to you? It must, well, you uh, know, there's you a lens know on it. it. Yeah, yeah, you I know, know what it is. is. <laughs> you, you're hoping that the people at the gym who see you wear this think it's a pedometer because it is a camera. It looks kind of like one. Yeah. And if they don't look too closely, they may not see the lens. Mm -hmm. That's a five megapixel camera with a 70 degree angle. So it's really, uh -huh. it's not super wide. Um, uh, it is, in fact, it's a little bit vaguely telephoto. And here's the thing, it has a, its own memory and it takes pictures every 30 seconds, just forever, always. Interesting, so it kind of, it seems like it's working out to be your own personal diary of it's, sorts. It's something they call life logging, and it's actually life the idea has been around for many years, going back to Steve Mann at MIT, who was, you know, the wearing the thing. Oh, and, yes. <laughs> and Gordon Bell, uh, whose wife, uh, Gwen, uh, founder of the Computer History Museum in, uh, in, down in, the, uh, in Mountain View, uh, has Alzheimer's. Oh. And um, Gordon had been, been thinking about this kind of thing. He even wore a camera around his neck for a long time as a Microsoft fellow. Uh, but I think because of Gwen, he became interested in the idea that this might help you with your memory. Wow. So if you don't know That's what you did. Cool. And so this would be useful to review your day, but more likely the idea is you've been wearing this over a period of years, yeah. and now you've got a diary of your entire life. Uh, now, of course, it's not got enough memory to record more than a day or so. Well, Several now I'm, thousand now I'm pictures. considering buying one because I know somebody who has... Be, it might be good for Alzheimer's like patient, that. yep. Yeah. Uh, it has only about a day or two of battery life. So oh, okay. basically what happens, so you get home, <laughs> you get home and you plug it in. Yeah, to remember, that's a bad. <laughs> you have to remember to plug it in and you're going to plug it into a computer. It's got a micro USB, so it'll work with any standard cable. Okay. And you're going to connect it to a Windows or a Mac PC because they have software. The software is going to pull the images that have been on the camera, off the camera, as well as recharge it. There are four lights here that will show you charge state. In fact, if I double tap it, you'll see. Do you have to wear their see. software, or do you have to use their software? You have to use their software, and, it? and it does an interesting thing that you may or may not like. It uses your computer as a temporary storage. You hmm. can not have it save the pictures there, but there's so many, they say, you might not want to do this. This is going to fill up your drive. And then uploads it to the Get Narrative servers. Really? So your pictures don't actually live on your computer, that's not the normal way to use it unless you specifically ask. The idea is that they live on the server and then they have an Android or iPhone app that you can browse through your pictures oh, with. Oh, I see. So you need a computer, you need a Android or iPhone device, uh, Android or iOS device, it doesn't have an iPad app but I'm gonna show it to you on the iPad. And then uh, you're gonna, you get a year free but eventually you're gonna have to pay narrative to store these pictures, there's quite a bit of data. Yeah, it sounds it sounds slightly expensive, and it also makes my little red flag of privacy go off. Like, well, <laughs> there's so many red flags that are going to go off with this thing. I mean, first of all, <laughs> you're wearing it everywhere: the bathroom, yep. the gym, to bed. You're wearing it everywhere. So at some point, somebody's going to figure out, dude, you're taking. This is, I mean, if you think Google Glass is offensive. This is worse. Yeah. There's no way of knowing it's taking a picture. It doesn't really announce itself as a camera. So is it taking pictures right now? Yeah. The theory, though, That's is crazy. that it's just for you. This is not, you're <laughs> not going to post it. And when you see the pictures, you'll realize why. A couple of things, uh, a couple of user interface notes. If you double tap it, it says take a picture right now. Oh. And it marks it as a favorite in the collection. It oh, figures, okay. well, you must have wanted that one. If you put it face down, it senses that it's dark and stops. Oh. So that's one way to either turn it off or to save battery life. It also knows what position it's in, so you can clip it in any way. Oh, that's cool. So, so it'll automatically rotate. It has photos. a magnetometer, accelerometer, uh, does not have a GPS. Okay. Doesn't know where you are. Probably good. <laughs> 
Well, I, you know, I think what happened, now, they took them more than a year to get this out. They thought yeah. it, they'd be out a lot sooner. It turned out to be harder to do this than they thought. I think that's right. what happened. Let me show you the user interface of the pictures. This is the narrative app. Now, I'm going to show you on an iPad. It's an iPhone uh, app. So let me show you the, uh, the interface. This is the narrative app. It's free, by the way, um, you, and you can uh, download it on Android or iOS. This is, I'm, I'm using it on an iPad, but it's really an iPhone uh, app. Okay. Um, the settings, not much, right? Yeah, it looks pretty easy. <laughs> uh, nothing, in fact. Yeah. Um, it interfaces to the narrative servers, though, in Sweden, right? So these are the start photos. Those are the ones I double tapped. Okay. And you can, so you can see those presumably are the ones you care a lot about. Oh, and you're probably okay. noticing right now a little something. Um, these pictures suck. So there are a couple of reasons that they suck. Um, one is that you're wearing a kind of cheap camera right. on your lapel. And so what it's recording is not necessarily what you would record if you were taking a picture. Now, here's an example. I put this on a ledge. So oh. it recorded me, and this is something you can do. You, you don't have to be wearing it. So it recorded me sitting at my computer for hours okay. on it. Big deal. Um, let me, this is, uh, this is Mac Break Weekly. We can go through oh, this. So we got your microphone. <laughs> this is my point of view. Now, there's another issue that's probably unique to me. I got a bit of a belly, and so the, the thing's on, is tilted up. <laughs> it's always looking up. So uh, here I am at home, and then I get in the car, and I drive. See, you see that? I, I get in the car, but it's looking up. It's not. Right. So you're never, none of these pictures are going to be anything that you really, I mean, I'm not going to share this to Twitter, to Instagram, but it, 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 kind it, of cool. it okay. might be enough to tell me where I was, what I did today, right? And if you talk to somebody for any length of time, you'll see their face. Mm -hmm. You'll say, oh, yeah, I had a nice conversation with that guy. What you mostly realize is how much time you send, spend sitting at a computer, for one thing. <laughs> na, 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 at least me, and I think many of the people who watch this show. Now, notice this has trimmed the moment. Because of the accelerometer, uh, it can kind of know if some pictures are going to be blurry or not good. If you untrim them, it went trimmed went from 158 pictures, untrimmed, 329 wow. pictures. So, you can, you know, it's storing a lot of pictures. This is 329 photos over a two hour period. Um, and as, as you can lot. see, it's, well, it's a lot, but it's, and it's not that interesting, right? Now, then I'm in my office sitting, that's what it looks like when I'm sitting in my <laughs> So you're not in most of these pictures, unless you take it off, you put it on a ledge. Um, but if you, you know, if you, if, you know, it would be great. The first, when I first got it, I, th I suppose it's here, I, I wore it uh, at a party. So I got to see kind of the party. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And so that, that was kind of fun. This goes back to March. Um, well, I don't see the party. Wow, look at all those photos. Yeah. Well, it's a photo every 30 seconds. Two yeah. photos a minute, 120 photos an hour. It's a lot of photos. It seems so niche to me. It feels like the I personally idea, wouldn't need it. Yeah. Well, first of all, it's 279 bucks. I don't mm -hmm. recommend it. I mean, this is definitely a, not, a do not buy. I'll give you the pros and cons, but I will say that there is something going on here. They were trying to raise $50,000. They raised half a million dollars. There's definitely interest in the idea of life logging. Um, the pros are that it does you know pretty much what it says it does it it has enough memory to take pictures every 30 seconds it can do a whole day you can actually do a day and a half or two days <laughs> um uh it, it all of that works it uploads to the servers effectively i right. use the mac client worked fine you plug it in and it immediately starts to pull the pictures off the negatives are the pictures aren't great because it's a it's five megapixels and b uh it's only 70 ang degree angle it's a fairly narrow it's fairly telephoto yeah. so you don't yeah, I would. I think this should be like 24 millimeter lens. This should be a 18. It should be a big wide fisheye because right, yeah. then I'd see more of what's going on. I'm surprised they didn't do that. <laughs> um, and and then of course the cost is a little high and the privacy implication and the chances of getting yes. beat up in the mission district high as well. <laughs> on the other hand, I should say that this it, there is something here. The idea uh, it's 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 part of this quantified self. The idea that your your life can be remembered. In this passive way, I just wish it were better pictures, you know? And I right. wish I were yeah. in them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what I often uh, did is I'd put it on a shelf here, I'd stick it, you know, somewhere like that, and see if I did this, it would see me, and then I, you know, that might be what you'd end up doing.
but that does raise another negative. It's very easy to lose. Look at that. Can, can right, you see that's it? That's true. It's very small, <laughs> very lightweight. I lost a couple of times. You know, I went, where did it go? It's in the on the seat <laughs> of the car. Or, you know, I left it behind. So, uh, you know, I lost. I lose Fitbits every five or six weeks. So <laughs> oh, this is a $279 uh, doodad that is going to be very easy to lose. You're lucky right. I still have it for review. So maybe they should put a little <laughs> GPS in it so you can track yeah, it. Yeah, or some beeper or something. <laughs> I just think mostly, you know, you're going to get in trouble if you wear this around. I wore it yeah. at the gym, and I thought, I just nah, somebody's going to slug me. It does feel a little awkward to know that. Well, you're I know what I'm doing. I'm taking a picture of you it's, it's every a 30 weird. seconds. It's very weird. <laughs> so, do you give it a buy, try, or no? It's buy? a don't buy. It's too expensive. I, but I praise the guys at uh, Narrative. Uh, I think this is a great idea. Mm -hmm. Continue working on this. I'm glad I gave them my money because I want to support this. I think there's something here. Mm -hmm. This is probably, you know, you know if it's for you. It's probably not for you.